Hi, my name is Rudy Balasabas from Encore Business Solutions, and today I'll be going over how to process AP payments in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So this is my demo environment. So to start the payment process, you would go under Cash Management and Payment Journals. So I have some default batches here already, and this is the one that's used for paying vendors. So there's two main preferred ways of paying a vendor out of Business Central. The first method is if you wanted to pay just one singular vendor, you would fill in this first line here and start the process that way. So you would enter your, uh, your vendor number. So if you don't know the vendor number, you can always just search the vendor name and click on it that way. Scroll to the right and enter the amount you want to pay the vendor. So let's say $100, and then choose your bank payment type. So there's three main methods of paying out of Business Central, computer check, manual check, and electronic payment. So computer check is, as it sounds, you're printing a computer check out of Business Central. Manual check would be if you did a transaction out of Business Central, for example, a bank transaction in your bank, or a, a wire payment, and now you want to reflect that, that uh, transaction in Business Central, you would choose manual check. Electronic payment is EFTs in, if you're from Canada and ACH if you're in the US. For, for this example, let's just choose manual check. The next step is choosing which invoices, invoice do you want to apply this payment to. You would click process, apply entries, and then for this vendor, there's only one outstanding invoice, so let's apply it to that. You would click process and set applies to ID. Now you'll see that uh, document number there. If you scroll all the way to the right here, you'll notice the vendor balance or the vendor invoice balance is $11,900. $100 is being applied, and that's the new balance there. Once you're done, you click post and post. So to confirm that that's, that went through your bank, you would go in this search functionality here, which is the most efficient way to uh, navigate through Business Central. You would go to your bank ledger entries screen. And then you can see that that $100 payment is there, showed, shows up on your bank, bank ledger. Okay. The second method of, or second preferred method of doing payment runs in Business Central is to have the system um, decide which invoices that are outstanding and pull it all into a batch. So to start that process, you would click prepare and suggest vendor payments. So if you're coming from GP, this window is similar to your build payment batch window, or if you're in older versions of GP, it's your select checks window. So last payment date, think of this as your cutoff date. So this will pull in all invoices that are due as of April 30th. Find payment discounts. This is if your invoices have payment term discounts, for example, 2% 10 net 30. Use vendor priority is if you have vendors that you pay on a priority basis, you can turn this on and then it will pull in all the vendors that are that you've set with a priority amount. So this priority setting is set up on the individual vendor vendor's card window. Okay, available amount is, think of it as if you have cash flow concerns um, and you want to cap off the total, uh, batch total of your payment run. For example, if I put $10,000 here and press okay, it will pull in all the invoices that are outstanding but it will stop when the total reaches $10,000. Okay, and then if you scroll all the way down, um, all of these will get defaulted in. The last section here is, again, if you want to select certain vendors only for this pain run, you can select them here or pull them in uh, through, a, through some sort of filter. So, for example, any payment method code with bank or card, those vendors will, will get pulled in. If you click filter, there's additional fields here, numerous fields that you can choose to uh, pull in your vendors that way. Okay. 
right, let's press OK there. Now it pulls in, it, for this example, it pulls in five vendors that have invoices that are due and it creates five payments. So now you can, on the fly, do any adjustments you wanted here. For example, if there's a vendor that you you see that you don't actually want to pay, you, you can just click on it and click delete line. If you wanted to do multiple lines, you can always do select more and select the ones you want to delete, click manage and delete there. For this example, let's not delete any others. And now if you wanted to see which invoices a partic our particular payment is paying for, you would click the line, click process and apply entries. For this example, you'll see that there's two invoices being paid for this, for this vendor. Okay, so once you're satisfied with uh, the details of your payment run, you can just click check and print check. So the options here, last check number, that just means that was the last check number used on the last payment run. So your check, for, oh, so for this example, this check run will start with 218. And then there's some printing options here. Once you're ready, you just click print or you can send it to PDF, which we'll do here. So if you click this, so now you can see the checks that get printed. You'll see the check here and the two stubs in the bottom. Okay, so once you're done, again, you just click post and post, but I just wanted to show one more thing. If you wanted to put controls in place with your payment run and segregate some duties here, you can set, uh, set up some workflows. So the process here is if you have an AP clerk doing this check run and they click check, this will all be locked, locked out for them to do. So they won't be able to do this until someone actually approves the payment run. So the AP clerk's next steps would be to click actions, request approval. So what this will do is if you're set up with email in Business Central, it will send an email to whoever has approval authority and then that person can open that email and approve the payment run that way. Once it's been approved, the AP clerk will go back into check and now this will all be um, available for them to choose. And then they can start their, or finish their check run that way. Okay, so that concludes this video. Hopefully that gives you more information and background on payment methods and payment runs in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Thank you.